Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is El Maestro. Kumusta kayong lahat? And sana nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Okay? Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you so much guys for supporting my YouTube channel. Okay? For today's video, pag-uusapan natin in continuation, ganun pa rin, law of exponents. But this time, we will have power rule and power of a product rule. Okay? If you're ready, Kunin yung mga lapis at ballpen nyo, papel, notebook, at maganda. And let's do this. Okay, so sa, as what I have said earlier, this is part of the law of exponents. Uunahin natin yung power rule. So sabi sa power rule, to raise a number with an exponent to a power, multiply the exponent times the power. So ibig sabihin, sabi niya, with num a number with an exponent, so kagawa tayo ng number with exponent, meaning we have a raised to the power of m, to a power, meaning it is raised to another power, n. Nakuha nyo? Itong a raised to the power of n, close and open parenthesis, nakapower pa, naka pa din. Okay? So meaning, a power raised to a power. Okay? Anong gagawin? Sabi niya, we just simply multiply the exponents. Okay? So meaning, that is equal to copy the base and multiply the exponent and the power. So that is m times n. And this will be our guiding principle. Ito na yung power rule. Okay? So pag may nakita kayong isang exponential form or expression, tapos nakaraise to a power, all you have to do just simply multiply their power and exponents. Just like this, m times n. So we'll have an example. Let's say we have y cubed raised to the power of 4. Kita nyo? So, we have a exponent 3, nakapower sa 4. Ang gagawin natin, sabi, copy the base, simply multiply the exponents and the power. So, we have 3 times 4. And we will have y is equal to, or that is equal to y raised to the power of 12. Another example, x raised to the power of 5, raised to the power of 6, or Anong gagawin? Equal to, copy the base, which is x, then multiply the exponent and the power, 5 times 6. So, the answer is, x raised to the power of 30. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, gagawin nyo lang, again, just multiply their exponents and power. Okay, that is for the power rule. So, we have now the power of a product rule. Okay? Anong sabi sa product rule? Or, I mean, power of a product rule? We use the power of a product rule when there are more than one variables being multiplied. So meaning, merong hindi lang isa, kundi dalawa or tatlo or more than na mga variable na multiply each other. So let's say for example, we have a raised to the power of m multiplied by another variable b raised to the power of n. So dalawa. So pwedeng tatlo, pwedeng apat, but for this video, we will still... Um, gagawin natin dalawa muna which is a raised to the power of m and b raised to the power of n and ang sabi niya the power of a product rule tells us that we can simply simplify a power of a power by multiplying the exponents okay parang kanina okay so kaya pinagsama ko yung power rule at power of a product kasi magkakapareho so, parang kanina, minultiply lang natin yung exponent and yung power. So, meaning, if these two, are raised to, these two is raised to the power of P, ang gagawin lang natin, that is equal to copy the base, then multiply the exponent and the power, which is we have M times P. Ito naman, B, N times P. Ganun lang. So, meaning, ito na yung susunda natin. Kapag meron tayong dalawang variable na minultiply, take note, dapat multiply ha, hindi pwedeng, okay, baka may ma-encounter kayo na may plus dito, okay, ganyan, it's a big no, hindi pwede. So, this is only applicable if multiplication yung operation natin, just like this, okay, multiplication, erase natin yan. Kasi this is, technically this is A raised to the power of M times B raised to the power of N. So, mag-example tayo. So, we'll have 2x cubed 
z to the power of 4, then it is raised to a power of 3. Again, tingnan nyo, tatlo na. Meron tayong 2 times x cubed times z to the fourth. So again, these are two variables plus a coefficient. Ang gagawin natin, just copy the base, copy 2, then multiply the exponent. So we have 3. Next, bakit 3? Kasi may 1 yan dyan. Okay, alam natin, merong 1. Diba dito, may 1 yan. So we have 3 times 1, so still we have 3. Okay? So next, erase lang natin yan. Next, we have x cubed times 3. Then we have z to the fourth times 3. Simplify, so 2 cubed, that is 8. This is x to the power of 9 because that is 3 times 3. And we have z raised to the power of 12 because that is 4 times 3. Okay? So ito na yung sagot natin. Okay? So another problem, 3, w raised to the power of negative 2, and we have s raised to the power of 4. Okay? And close and open parenthesis, raised to the power of 2. So ang gagawin natin is the same thing. That is equal to 3 raised to the power of 2. Okay? Then we have w raised to the power of negative 2 times 2. Next, s raised to the power of 4 times 2. Then you simplify now 3 cube, uh, three squared, that is equal to 9. Ito, negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4. So we have w raised to the power of negative 4. And we have lastly, 4 times 2, we have s raised to the power of 2. So this is now what we call power of a product rule. Okay? Sana naintindihan nyo, madali lang, just follow the guiding principle, just follow the steps para makuha kagad natin. Okay? So, but before we end this video, I will have something, I will have something for you. Sasagutan natin. Again, the same thing. Gagawin natin, we will pause the video for a while in my count of three. Tapos sagutan nyo. Then after nyo mag, after nyo mag answer, you play the video again to check your answer if pareho ba tayo. Okay? So we have four times nine y raised to the power of four and w raised to the power of two. Okay, and it is raised to a power of four. So what's the answer? So that is equal to. So I'll give you now the time to solve. In my count of three, I post you yung video, then you solve the problem. Okay? In three, two, one, and you can post the video now. Okay, welcome back. Okay, assuming tapos na yung pagsagot nyo, na post nyo yung video, and you are back in this video. We'll show now the solution. Let's see if pareho tayo ng sagot. Okay? So, with that said, sa power rule, so we have 4, copy the base, raised to the power of 4, y raised to the power of 4 times exponent of the power 4, w raised to the power of 2, then times 4, and that is equal to 4 raised to the power of 4, that is equal to, use your calculator, that is 256. 4 times 4, we have 16, we have 2 times 4, w raised to the power of 8. Okay. So, ganun lang kasimple and ganun lang kalali. Okay? Guys, thank you for watching and this is El Maestro once again. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you have questions, suggestion, or any reaction, just comment it down below. Pagbibigyan natin yan. If you have something na gusto natin pag-usapan, pagbibigyan natin yan. But for now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel and most importantly, click that notification bell button para updated kayong lahat. Once again, this is El Maestro. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.